Welcome to the University of Kentucky, a tobacco-free campus. I am President Eli Capilouto, and I am proud that UK is one of over 500 colleges and universities that do not allow the use of tobacco products. As a result, UK is a healthier place to live, work, and learn. We ask that you respect our policy by not using tobacco anywhere on our campus, indoors and out. That means cigarettes, cigars, pipes, water pipes, e-cigarettes, and all smokeless tobacco. We take health seriously at the University of Kentucky. We are committed to helping students, employees, and sponsored dependents get the help they need to quit using tobacco. Walking through campus, it can be seen that there are many beautiful attributes that add to the Big Blue Nation and its campus, but smoking and dipping is not one of them. To and from class, there are always a fleet of students and or residents on UK's campus who are smoking carelessly. More surprisingly, the north side of UK's campus is where many doctors and or nurses go on their breaks to smoke tobacco behind the hospital. Now, I don't know what it takes to be a doctor, but these health professionals should be the pioneers who want to stop the smoking that occurs around the campus. With all the known facts and slander towards smoking, it should be a bigger issue than what it is. I'm a tobacco control researcher and I'm also interested in environmental health and risk reduction, preventing illness by making healthy choices the easy choices and making environments healthy so people don't even have to think about being healthy. About 15 years ago, I was lucky in that I was invited into a, a room of movers and shakers who were talking about how they could influence tobacco use in our city, and so I had nothing to lose, so I just said, how about if we work together to try to make Lexington smoke free? And frankly, I thought they'd laugh me out of the room, and that's not what happened. We had some pretty forward-thinking people around the table, and they said, well, you know, if you put together a plan, you know, maybe we'll consider it. So I did, uh, with some colleagues at the health department, put together a plan and uh, one thing kind of led to another and Lexington did go smoke free and we had a great opportunity to conduct some science around it to evaluate just what kind of effects it had. We I was able asked the question, were people in Lexington healthier as a result of the smoke free law? And that's what we found. We saw a dramatic decline in adult smoking in, in Lexington compared to 30 other counties that looked like us but who didn't have smoke-free laws. We saw about a 32 percent decline in, in adult smoking and that translated into 16,500 fewer smokers and it meant that we were saving about 21 million dollars a year in health care costs, just Lexington alone. Hey, did you know this is a tobacco-free campus? Yes. I can't do anything. I, I mean, I can't take the cigarette out of their hands. Why not? What, what, what do you mean, why not? Why can't you take the cigarette out of their hands? It's a free damn country. About the tobacco policy. What's tobacco? Tobacco is something that's grown and can be smoked. I smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> no, this is different. This has negative effects on your body. What about you? What? What about you? What's the question? Do you know about smoking policy in the Smoking is bad. It can cause cancer. And it's good that the University of Kentucky has put up a policy against tobacco. Cancer's not good. How do you feel that the University of Kentucky hasn't obeyed those laws about a tobacco on campus?
end, that's where we end. <laughs> all branches of medicine, doctors in all parts of the country were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? Once again, the brand named most was Camel. Cigarettes contain more than 4,000 chemical compounds and at least 400 toxic substances. When you inhale, a cigarette burns at 700 degrees at the tip and around 60 in the core. The heat breaks down the tobacco to produce various toxins. The damage caused by smoking is influenced by the number of cigarettes smoked, whether the cigarette has a filter, or how the tobacco has been prepared. Every cigarette is doing you damage. Smoking creates blood clots which can cause strokes. Some strokes kill, blind or paralyze. Others you don't even know you're having. This is the result of a minor stroke in a smoker, aged 38. Every year, the like first week in April, we collect butts for three days. And the first day, is to, and we uh, collect butts at well, it used to be five different hotspots, but now the student center is gone, so now it's four locations. Okay. And um, the first day is just kind of like to get everything away, and then we look at the next two days we collect at the same time at those locations so that we can see over a 24-hour period, just get an idea of how many people are smoking in that 24-hour period. Granted, it's not perfect because we just collect the butts. Some people might throw them out. Others may be using like any sort of e-smoking or um, chewing tobacco, but it's a pretty good indicator of how the policy is working. And um, every year it's gone down significantly. So it's kind of nice to see, I guess, but 